today we're reviewing the Summer Fries Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide Eye Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the link below. Okay, I picked this one up to be honest. It was, I think Sephora was having the Rouge sale. I like a lot of Summer Friday stuff, especially since they've gone more in the fragrance-free route. So I feel like supporting them a little bit. Um, but I really didn't need another eye cream. But to be honest, I used it the first time and was pretty impressed with it. So otherwise it probably would have just been left on the shelf a little bit longer. But anyway. Okay, so they say powered by a wrinkle-fighting peptide plus vitamin C, this eye cream visibly brightens while supporting natural collagen production for smoother, firmer looking skin. The moisturizing formula includes visibly depuffing caffeine, soothing elantlin, in vitamin E and natural light reflectors to softly illuminate all skin tones. And I don't know what is going on. Is this not like a big trend with vitamin C and eye creams lately? It's starting to be like in all these eye creams. And I, for a lot of people, it's this eye area is just too sensitive for vitamin C or azorbic acid, especially to be used once or twice a day. Uh, so I don't know. It's that's just becoming a thing as well as like all these body exfoliators, body brightening products that are just going to get me more burnt. So whatever. Okay. First criteria is packaging. I'm not crazy about the jar packaging with this, especially azorbic acid. It's prone to deteriorating, especially in the presence of light and air. Uh, given the texture of this, I'm not exactly sure what else they could have done, but um, not crazy about the jar packaging. So I mean, it also makes me feel like I want to hurry up and finish it because I know it's deteriorating every minute that I'm not using it. So the little things that bother me when I'm not thinking of anything else. So, okay. And number, my second criteria is denatured drying types of alcohol. It doesn't contain any of those. It's also fragrance free and has no noticeable scent to it. Uh, the manufacturer location for this one is the U.S. So no issues with that. I just want to make sure my before I dip my hands in there because there's really no way to take like a spatula with this and get the proper amount out but um, apply it to your eye area so it's got a really nice creamy texture to it there's a little bit of it and I'll do a little bit more um, so you can use this uh, to your around your eyes don't use it on your eyelids I read from people I used it on their eyelids because they were dry and did not have very much fun with that don't use it on your eyelids. Use it around, underneath your eye, and around it. Don't use it on your eyelids. If you want something because your eyelids are dry, the Cosrx Snail Peptide Eye Cream is wonderful. And you can use that anywhere around your eyes or your face even. Um, but this one, a little bit goes a long way. It smooths into skin nicely. Um, plays well with other products. It doesn't feel greasy. It does help reflect light a little bit. Um, it glides on nicely without any tugging. Uh, and it plays well over and under other products. So anywhere else around the eye area is great. Uh, preferably, uh, you're probably going to be using this one in your morning routine for the light reflecting benefits, but you can use it in the evening. I wouldn't recommend using it both morning and evening just because of that sensitivity that can build up to ascorbic acid, especially on the thin eye area skin. Okay, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. It's skin brightening and it's an antioxidant. It's skin protecting. Also helps with uh, pigmentation issues. Uh, some people may be sensitive to it around the eye area, just so be cautious. We've got acetohexapeptide 8, which is also known as argaline, which is a skin firming peptide. Helps with fine lines firming the skin up. We've got caffeine. Caffeine, some people are also very sensitive to that, especially on the skin. Uh, caffeine can be great with, uh, it's good antioxidant. Uh, it helps fight off free radical damage, can also help with uh, firming the skin and also depuffing, uh, and helps with circulation of the blood vessels. So they, the, the biggest thing they say caffeine is great for is uh, under eye circles and puffiness. So that's great. We've got shea butter, good antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. We've got niacinamide, skin brightening ingredient, berry pairing, anti-acne. We've got jojoba esters, good antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. We've got tetrahexyl descal ascorbate, which is a vitamin C derivative that uh, they think has skin brightening and antioxidant benefits. Let's see, where was I now? 
right, cinnamide. Oh, we've got sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. We've got avocado oil, a good antioxidant, as well as hydrate ingredient. We've got rosehip seed oil, emollient rich in fatty acids. We've got elantlin, skin soothing, soothing ingredient. Uh, we've got fossil phospholipids, which are another skin identical ingredient. We've got sweet almond oil, a good emollient. We've got corn poppy petals, which is an emollient and soothing ingredient that I've never seen before in a product. So, uh, we've got vitamin E, antioxidant, hydrate ingredient, turmeric, antioxidant, skin soothing and brightening, sunflower seed oil and sunflower seed wax, which are both heat hydrating emollients. We've got basil, a good tonic ingredient. We've got jojoba seed oil, emollient, bamboo extract, moisturizing and humectant ingredient. We've got pea extract, which is skin protecting and skin conditioning. We've got glucosamine, anti-static ingredient. And then finally, neem extract, which is skin conditioning ingredient. So really mouthful of ingredients, but nice antioxidants, brightening ingredients, and bare repair ingredients. So... A lot of them, though, I will say, sensitive to light exposures, such as the vitamin C. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this is vegan as well as cruelty-free, so that is awesome. No issues at all with that. Performance, so this one surprised me. I bought it on a whim. I wasn't going to buy it because I didn't need any more eye products, especially eye products in a jar. But I like this, and I've been using it a lot since I got it and I like using this in my morning routine and then using my Cosrx snail peptide eye cream at night. I can't say I noticed any long-term brightness. It does make the eye area look a little brighter after you apply it, but I didn't, once you washed off, I didn't notice any long-term brightness, but I don't have uh, really noticeable like dark circles. So um, uh, in terms of acne junk ingredients, we've got a whole lot of them. So let's we'll start at the top. Okay, we've got cetaryl alcohol, glycerol stearate, isosterol isosterate, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, jojoba seed oil, and sorbitin isosterate, which is a ton, so keep that in mind. Uh, the price, this is a full size, which is half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and retails for $40, making it pretty pricey. Uh, then in terms of the it factor, it's not a must-have. It's a nice eye cream. I'll definitely finish it. Probably wouldn't repurchase again due to the packaging. And the fact that I have a ton of other eye creams I want to try. But it's nice. And, you know, it seems like a lot of other people did the same thing I did. Bought this at the spur of the moment because they saw it. And most of them, from what I've heard, have ended up liking it as well. So it's got a lot to like. So with a 10 being a perfect score, this one got a 7. While we're checking out, a little pricey though. So anyway, interesting from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet. And if you have what your thoughts are. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.